Hey guys, um, this is not going to be a Star Citizen video. Uh, if you clicked on the link because of Star Citizen, it's not going to be a Star Citizen video, so you can just click off right now if you if you don't want to see anything else. Uh, I have recorded this video already. Some people have seen it because uh, I fucked up and I released it by accident, uh, but I took it down because I wasn't sure that... Um, People would understand what the message of the video was because I didn't really say it out loud. I'm not doubting you guys, but uh, this topic is really hard and uh, whatever you say could be taken uh, the wrong way. So uh, the gist of the video was, and I'm going to share this, this is not a call for you to give me money, but uh, I'm going to share this with the Patreon uh, people uh, the people that are supporting my channel, because I already made the video and there's no fucking point to just keep it for myself. Um, so, uh, yeah, Patrons, you can just check the video out on Patreon and that's it. But other than that, I, I don't want to keep it like live for everybody to see, so I'm just going to keep it like hidden uh, and uh, just share the link with, 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 with other people so anyway uh, the whole point of the video was i mean uh i shared some stories from uh my childhood and you know uh that i'm from serbia which is a war-torn country in the 90s we had a bunch of wars uh, first off we fought in a civil war against uh our uh well, my brothers, the Croatians, and my brothers, or my people, the Bosnians, and, uh, like, I shared some stories from that, uh, from then and there, but I was a kid, and, it, like, I, I couldn't, like, know a lot, I didn't see much, but, yeah, afterwards, we had, like, in the, uh, late 90s, we had another war with NATO, uh, where NATO was the, uh, were the, uh, aggressors, and, uh, they bombed us, and it was, pretty hard and the stories were funny but they're not funny but like the, the gist of the video the point of the video was that uh every act of aggression should be condemned and uh there is there are other ways in this day and age to like do politics and like war shouldn't be like on, on the menu at all and uh yeah that that's that that was basically the point of the video i wasn't trying to pull a gal gadot or to like recite slam poetry to mr putin dear president vladimir putin or to cure um fucking racism uh with dance music like david Guetta, but I I just like I felt that I should talk about uh, my experiences, but then again, uh, I didn't want you guys to feel bad uh, about like how uh, we grew up here in Serbia, even though maybe some people don't even understand how uh, everything works and how how like what goes through your head during the war when you're a kid and maybe that would make them have a bit more empathy uh towards people that are uh in like war regions but yeah like i i i didn't want to uh be understood the wrong way so i just took it down so anyway uh, i'm just gonna play you one clip uh, of a soldier during uh, the civil war, uh, it's a Serbian soldier, well, he fought for, for the Serbs as, as far as I know, and uh, yeah, his, like, that, that interview, like, completely, uh, will completely make you understand what war is. Okay, 
Now, after that, there's one more thing. Some of uh, the people from my org uh, already know this because uh, I talked to them about this. But uh, there's one more thing. Like, during uh, the war, that the same war, uh, there was actually a family of a uh, father and two sons. And each of them fought for a different side in the war. So I think uh, the father was uh, fighting for the uh, Croatians, uh, one of the sons was uh, fighting for the Serbs, and the other son was fighting for Bosnians. So that's, that's how stupid fucking war is, and how disgusting, and how, like, the human suffering uh, from wars is not a thing that could be explained with words so i'm not gonna try to explain it uh i i wish that nobody uh has to deal with it ever uh in the world again but yeah like so wh wh why would my opinion matter and why would my voice matter but I'm not going to change anything, I know, but at least I'm going to play you some songs and uh, try to uh, make you understand me better and, yes, yeah, share some music with, with, with the world. I would uh, play other songs from other people, but I would get a copyright strike. Especially I would play a song, uh, like a couple of songs from uh, George Balashevic, which was uh, the best author here in, in Serbia. And he was the only guy that was... Uh, after the war, uh, in, in the 90s, uh, the Civil War, uh, he was the only guy that could go and make uh, uh, an, an event in uh, Bosnia and Croatia, and he was a Serb. And, like, K4 was trying to get, like, a, a soccer game or something that would be friendly and just have people together to, like, strengthen uh, the, the broken relationships. And, uh, yeah, like, I don't know. He was the only guy that could go there on foot and still, like, stay alive. Because they were thinking about giving him a helicopter and, like, security. And he was like, no. Like, I'm, I'm, like people like me there. Because he was such a good-hearted guy. And his songs, like, we all grew up on his songs. And they speak of, uh, about love and, and, and passion and... Uh, how to be good to each other. So I would love to play you those songs, uh, his songs, but I would get a copyright strike. So uh, yeah, therefore I'm just gonna play my songs because I could just uh, approve myself or like uh, with my publisher. And I, I don't even think that I'm gonna get any revenue because I'm talking about the war again. But because the other video got demonetized, I don't fucking care. Uh, I, I just like, I'm a musician. And the main thing that I'm trying to do through my whole life, even like in music or in, in any other business, I'm just trying to be honest to myself and truthful to, to others and uh, do things from my heart. So you're going to see that and hear that in my music. So yeah, like that's why I was uh, in like act activism, why I was a social activist. Uh, basically my whole life prior to, to, to this. And that's basically why I'm doing this. And that's why I uh, was a leader of one of the, uh, or no, not one of the, the big, biggest protests uh, in Serbia uh, since the 90s. Because I was not in any other country. I was known for that because I was in the protest, I was in the organization of protest in 2017 together with Jelena. And then people know about me. And now, I don't have any way to understand. I don't have anything against the opposition, but I want to deal with the truth and to win this regime with the truth, not with the truth. System I mean, to me, you guys are you guys are out here with your faces, your names. Are you not afraid? I mean, do you, are you worried that there might be consequences for either you or your family? Yeah, you are. But you're still out here. And the first song that you're gonna hear is gonna be basically about that uh, and about why I stopped doing what I, what I was doing and why. Like, I, I, at some point, I just realized that the opposition is uh, basically working with the government and uh, things are not going to change uh, for the better anytime soon. And I guess I should, I, I should just uh, play you the song uh, right now. So, yeah, here we go.
ja sam suvišan U ovom gradu lažnih osmeha i prekih pogleda Ma ja sam suvišan Istih mišljenja i lažnih zastava Ja sam drugačiji, u jatu svačiji Ja sam potpuno sam Da li sam posljednji u stadu osrednjih Gde znam da ne pripadam Ma ja sam stranac Samo stranac Ja sam nepodoban Potpuno nepotreban Nepoželjan U ovom zlatno doba Gde je obraz roba Gde isti lome koplja Kurvini sinovi I činovi Za njih sam vinovnik i gubitnik Jer među tapšačima Huškačima Ne bih da pripadam Ma nikada Ja sam drugačiji U jatu svačiji Ja sam Potpuno sam Da li sam posljednji U stadu osrednjih Gde znam Da ne pripadam Ma ja sam stranac Samo stranac So I wrote that song uh, right before I went uh, to uh, one of our uh, opposition televisions, the only opposition television that we have here. Uh, and I basically exposed the opposition and I knew I knew what was going to happen to me and uh, I didn't go like full in cuz yeah <laughs> it would be much much worse and I wouldn't be talking to you right now but um yeah uh that that like 
as you can hear from the lyrics or as you can see from the lyrics because you don't know Serbian uh, the song is straight from the heart uh, the next song that I'm gonna play for you is called Sloboda or Freedom and uh, I wrote that song when one of my friends got arrested and uh, he was also with me one of the leaders of those protests and he got arrested like unfairly for no fucking reason just because like he was on the street and they were arresting a lot of people they were trying to pressure us uh and they were trying to uh, like i Oh, again, I don't want this video to turn into a video where you should feel bad about me, but I'm just gonna say that uh, a lot of shit has happened, and I had like people uh, parked outside my house. Uh, we were followed, or we were like uh, raided a couple of times. Uh, we were like held at uh, gunpoint uh, with like AKs and all that shit. So, yeah, fun times. So, yeah. Uh, let me just throw you the second song and uh, I'll be back in a second. Srecha. Na prstima se čutke udaljila Okutke Starih albuma sa slikama A mašta Tu je da te stano kod seća Na plamen Slobode u grudima Sloboda Dobija se već se osvaja Slavoda Sa njom je svet manji od tvoj horaka Slavoda Sa njom se ljubav topi pod prstima Yeah, I hope you like the song. Um, as I've said, uh, my friend got arrested. <laughs> the funniest thing is, 
like he got arrested and that's all we knew police wouldn't like uh, tell us anything and uh, he was taken to uh, not to prison he was uh, or like temporary prison or however you call it he was taken straight to the judge and he was like sunday on sunday like come on uh, th- those fucking courts don't fucking work uh, on sunday here but they were trying to like uh, prosecute him uh, immediately and send him to jail for a month and uh, he just stood there uh, with like um uh handcuffs and he was like can i uh those handcuffs are, are hurting me could you release release me because like i'm just gonna be here and whatever and yeah like they <laughs> released him from handcuffs and then after a while he just saw an opportunity to fucking bail and he bailed and he ran and like he didn't run he just fucking he saw a door door was open and he just stood up and left nobody noticed him because the the court wasn't working like there was five people inside the whole fucking uh, um building and uh he just left and it was uh, the funniest thing because i was like uh, outside the court singing uh, w- when i realized that he was inside or when i thought that he was inside because uh, i didn't know that he bailed uh i was singing like um songs anti-fascist uh songs uh so he can hear me through the window and uh then like a police officer came to me and he he was like the fuck are you doing and i was like uh is Mildrug, he, he uh, that's his name um is he inside and uh he said no dude like he bailed he's gonna like he's gonna suffer for for this and i was like wait he did what and he, <laughs> he said he bailed Okay, so yeah, he was he was hiding until like uh, they pulled the charges because those charges uh, they, they wouldn't stick, but they just wanted to uh, get him into prison for like a month. So the next song that I'm gonna play for you is uh, Medjus Zvezdama uh, or uh, Amongst the Stars and. Um, that song is a love song, but it is also uh, like a kind of a social uh, commentary, uh, and uh, that is dedicated to uh, my friend, uh, which I-, I was supposed to do uh, the song with her, uh, and she's Croatian, she's from Zagreb, and... Uh, I, I love her and she just couldn't do we were trying to finish the song for like two years uh, she just had a lot of shit in her life and she couldn't like do, do music at all or come to Belgrade to my studio to, to record it so yeah uh, she told me to to finish it myself and I made it a bit different I made it a love song uh, from the heart because uh, yeah I'm not gonna talk about my prior life but yeah anyway uh this is my way of trying to connect uh Croatia with uh Serbia or uh, Zagreb with uh, Belgrade or Belgrade. So I, I hope you're gonna like the song. <laughs> Pa predugo sam ovde, stalno gubim se u magli Odvedi me dalje od ovog sirila Tamo gde se more, u nebo uliva Kao brod od papira, na uzburkanoj vodi I'm 
moje srce se u tvoje uliva I nije bitno kako zove se tvoj grad Jer još odjekujemo među zvezdama Hajde podari mi sme Da nasmejem se sebi Podari mi gre Da ne prestanem da letim I odvedi me dalje od ovo Bez puća Pa mi pod kožu Uđi tiho na prstićima Jer ne postojim Da bih pisao stihove Svaki dan Uvek Istim ljudima Iznova Iznova Jer stojimo na istim rekama I moje srce se u tvoje uliva i nije bitno kako zove se tvoj grad Jer još odjekujemo među zvezdama Tamo gdje uste trno u site sate Dok šapat odjekuje So yeah, after that, so maybe I should switch to the other cam. Is this better? This is not better, right? Yeah, this is not better. Like you can see inside my nostrils from here. So no, I, I'm just gonna get that up, up like above the 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 monitors, and then I'm gonna record with with that cam. Uh, but uh, yeah, that song, as you heard, like uh, it's it's basically a peace song, even though it is a love song. But it is a social commentary. Now, the next song that I'm going to play for you is going to be called uh, Lamenti or uh, Laments, L Laments, or however you pronounce that in English. Uh, when you lament on something, that's how we pronounce it in, in, in Serbia. And um, yeah, that song is basically me giving up on Serbia and me giving up on my... On my um, city and on the people here uh, that are just asleep and that it feels like they will never wake up and realize uh, what is happening and where we're go going and um, how to deal with things. Uh, we have elections soon and uh, yeah, it, like we are again gonna uh, vote against someone and that's how this government came to power because we voted or my people i didn't vote for for the, these guys but like my people voted against the last government and that last government is trying to get uh, uh into government or in, into the uh, uh offices on the next elections so first we uh, or serbia voted uh, against them and then serbia is gonna uh, vote after like 10 years serbia is gonna vote against these guys so they can get the first guys back and etc like it's it's a fucking loop and uh yeah you, you just can't get out of it uh, unless you leave the country and there's like a hundred thousand people leaving the country every year and you probably know of a village or um a city that has a hundred thousand people and just imagine that city being crossed and yeah 
So, yeah, I'm just going to play you the song and I'm going to stop talking. The next song that you're gonna hear is uh, gonna be Tia or You and Me, and it's a love song, but it's also an anti-war song, because uh, 
yeah, the whole thing, you're going to hear it in a second. Uh, the, the whole fight between me and her is uh, depicted through, like, war pictures and... and uh, it's like a battlefield. Like, fighting her is like a battlefield, basically. And, um, yeah, fun fact is about this song is that uh, Facebook and YouTube took it down uh, a couple of times because of the uh, picture that I had, which is a tank track, uh, tr tracks of a tank uh, from, I think it's like Panzer III, uh, from uh, World War II, and it's actually stored here in Belgrade on uh, on, a, on a fortress uh, that's in the center of the city. Uh, the fortress is like from uh, 1300s or, or something like that, or 1400s. But uh, somebody's gonna kill me for, for for not knowing this. But fuck it. But uh, yeah, like we have like a bunch of weapons from uh, World War II stored there, uh, just like. It's it's basically a museum, uh, and yeah, well, it was a museum, but this government in this country will never cherish uh, our, our uh, past and will never try to preserve it, because, yeah, the whole thing is completely for falling apart, but Facebook and YouTube uh, completely tried to, like, uh, uh, like n not tried, like, deleted it a couple of times, but uh, yeah, so let me just play you the song. Topoli Pucają I bomby Padają So the next song that I'm going to play for you is going to be a song uh, that I uh, wrote and released uh, during the pandemic. 
and uh, a lot of people that I knew were having a lot of issues uh, in their lives, um, especially musicians, because like here in Serbia, music was canceled, and only the chosen ones that were uh, in the leading party could play. And because uh, <laughs> fun story, our government actually said uh, that. Uh, the musicians and loud music is spreading COVID because people need to yell. Therefore, there is going to be more COVID in the air. So, yeah, whatever. But uh, instead of like incentivizing us to do like, I don't know, YouTube stuff and stuff like that, they completely closed us up. And uh, I know some people that uh, have took their lives and uh, because like they have so many bills to pay and they were completely like depressed and all that but i'm not i'm i'm trying to bring this uh, uh to a, a lighter note that to, to to make this uh video as light as possible so you're gonna hear the song the, the song is really light and every time i felt really really bad i did a song like this and because uh, I know that songs like this can help people that, that hear it and even if you have a shitty day at some point maybe when you hear a song like this maybe it's gonna just make you not like rethink your life and change your life completely and cure you from fucking cancer of course not but it is gonna bring a smile um, onto your face and that's the point of this song so I'm just gonna play it the song is called uh, Nebrini or Don't Worry and uh, yeah
and in the end, uh, there's one more song that I'm gonna play for you, and it's an unreleased song. Uh, I played it in the Fuck War video, and uh, yeah, most of you didn't catch it. I left it uh, for the ending as well, because it was uh, in the ending over there also, but... Um, that song got me cancelled here in, in Serbia and got me off the radio and off the TV uh, because that, was, that song was uh, supposed to be... Um, okay, so in 2014, there were some huge floods here in Serbia due to uh, our government neglecting the uh, draining uh, sewages and all of that. And... Uh, people have organized themselves to help each other and to provide for each other and to provide shelters, foods, clothing, and to defend um, the cities from, from rivers that were just like spilling out of their banks. And we were uh, like putting sand into uh, uh, bags and putting those sandbags uh, along the shores of the, do you say like riverbanks, along the riverbanks, basically. So to cut uh, things short, uh, afterwards, when that was all over, there there were like thousands and thousands of people without, like that lost, uh, lost their homes and all that. So I was trying to um, entertain their kids and I was working, uh, well, working, I was volunteering and uh, playing music for those kids and trying to teach them music and trying to have some creative stuff for them, some competitions and all of that. And in the end, uh, when they got reallocated, because, yeah, fuck them, right? Uh, I'm not going to go that de deep into it. Uh, I made all the kids uh, sign my guitar and uh, that guitar... Uh, was supposed to be sold on an, an auction and this song that you're going to hear was supposed to be a song that's going to back the auction and that's going to uh, make the news basically because it was supposed to be sung by other people and I had a bunch of artists uh, join uh, to sing or just to like show up on, on camera a, a bunch of like uh, celebrities and all that but in the end uh <sighs> the TV station got uh, overtook by the government, uh, the TV station that was supporting the whole project. And then I got a call uh, and they told me not to fuck with them and they canceled the whole thing. So I never did the song. And in the end, people said that I was self-promoting and I got attacked and etc, etc, etc. You know how it works with fucking stupid people with no lives. But um, yeah, in the end... Uh, the song, the demo is here, I haven't released it I'm probably gonna like release the demo at some point, maybe and uh, I hope that you guys will like it and I have just one more thing to say before I end this, because this is gonna be the last song that, that I'm gonna play for you I don't wanna bore you uh, any longer I'm sorry that this is not a Star Citizen video uh, I would love it to be, but uh, like, uh, like with the current affairs uh, uh, and the, the status of, of our world, basically, and of Europe, uh, I'm really not keen on, on playing games and talking about Star Citizen and, and stuff like that, even though, of course, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm going to continue doing videos like that, but yeah, at some point maybe the next like probably the next video is going to be uh star citizen or or, or something like that it, like i still can't fucking play the game but uh i just wanted to say one more thing and um i know uh like the the point in why i made this video like this uh is because i have like 1600 uh subscribers which is not much but that is enough to know that there are some people from Ukraine uh, subscribe to my channel. And uh, I know for a fact that there is one guy that is Ukrainian that is subscribed and he told me that uh, he's fine and that he's not living uh, in Ukraine, but his family is still there. And uh, that's basically what made me uh, make this video. And dude, if you're watching, uh, first off, if you're still watching, you're a fucking legend. But <laughs> secondly, uh, 
dude, like I, I, I was thinking like, what, what can I say to you and what, how can I, like, I, I can't fucking say anything. Like I can't help you. I can't help anyone. Not with my channel, not with uh, my capabilities. Cause I'm fucking uh, useless and so puny and small uh, compared to uh, other stuff. I can't even fucking make a fundraiser because yeah, but in the end, I don't believe in God, uh, but I hope that you will be all right. And uh, I hope that you guys and your family is going to be okay and that nothing bad is going to happen to them. And that's the only thing that I can do. And uh, I can only hope and wish you all the best and wish you that this fucking ag act of aggression and this bullshit uh that's happening right now is gonna stop immediately uh if not like now maybe in, in a day or two and then putin is gonna fuck off uh the other thing is as i said uh my previous war video wasn't uh monetized i don't fucking care i'm not doing this uh for for the money for the revenue uh i'm doing this because yeah, I have to. I have to re release it uh, off my chest. And um, I know that like 10 people unsubscribed, uh, which is okay. Like, okay, you, you can't really like these kinds of videos. You can't even fucking dislike them. You can either agree or disagree or whatever. Uh, in the end, this is supposed to be a gaming channel, so I understand why people are unsubscribed because, like, they probably even even if they agree, they probably just don't want to see this kinds of like 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 shit on, on a Star Citizen channel. So, yeah. Uh, I promise that I'll I'll try to get back to the Star Citizen content as as soon as possible. I'm still waiting for the PC to arrive, and still uh, waiting for the war to fucking be over with, and for Putin to fuck off and suck his own dick for 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 a change. So yeah, thank you for watching, guys. I'm going to play you the song uh, for the end. And uh, as I've said a thousand times, love you and kisses. Goodbye. Take care, guys. Cross over vodu, istine. Možemo sami do obale. U svima nama kroz bukotine Polako pružaju se Zraci srca i sve što nosi Ljudsko proleće Imamo nas I to je sve što treba Sve granice Jugoslavije 